Uh, you're welcome to my YouTube channel uh, from Science Joseph. The YouTube channel is Chemistry Explained. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, writing chemical equations. But before I start, I request you to subscribe to my channel. You hit the subscribe button just below the video and also like the video. Uh, let us start without wasting a lot of time. We are aware that chemistry is actually studying the matter and how uh, matter comes into interactions involving chemical reactions and we are aware that every chemical reaction involves use of a chemical equation. Now today we are going to learn about how do you write a chemical equation. But I also request you to watch this video to the end because you learn a lot from it and I'm going to make sure that I explain clearly the things that the students have been facing a lot of challenges in. How do you come up with the chemical equations? Most students are always finding a problem writing chemical equations. <clears throat> now let us start. I hope you are set. Be very attentive. Don't deviate your attention. Let's start. Now, a chemical equation, we are aware that a chemical equation is just a representation of a chemical reaction using symbols and chemical formula. I'm going to give several examples on the BPT on the blackboard here, illustrating how you come up with a chemical equation. I have a number of examples written here. Now, before we start handling one by one, we are aware that uh, to come up with a chemical equation, you just need to understand which type of reaction is involved in, in a case where you want to write a chemical equation. Uh, I, I request you that to get a clear understanding of how to come up with a chemical equation, learn some few reactions, the reactants, and what they yield. Let's start with the first example here. I'm looking at a reaction between magnesium and oxygen gas. This is a typical reaction between elements and oxygen. Now, you should just have some simple formulas such as if I react in an element plus oxygen, I'm expected to get basically an oxide. So, how do you come up with such an equation? We just have to have a simple formula. Since this is a metal, let's just have it as a metal plus oxygen. The simple form is that we receive a metal oxide here. I will not go into a lot of balancing for the case of today. I will make a similar video how to balance chemical equation. Let's just learn how to write them and have a simple balance of them. Now, our metal is magnesium here. So we have magnesium is Mg. Then we are adding oxygen. Oxygen is, is O2. When it is used in reactions, we use it as a diatomic molecule, it's a gas. Now, most students are also facing problems on, should I put a solid, a gas? This is just learned from some simple laboratory uh, analysis, where we, we show you some metals. We know that all metals are solids, except one metal, which is a liquid, that's mercury. Gases, oxygen is a gas, so we arrive at magnesium oxide this side. Now, to come up with the correct formula this way, we need to have the knowledge of balances. We know magnesium is still Mg, our oxide is O, but the valence of magnesium is 2, and the valence of oxygen is all, the, the oxide has also a valence of 2, so we cancel this, so we arrive at the formula remaining like that. So to come up with the correct formula, you need to exchange the knowledge of balances. This is a solid, when you burn a, a solid metal in the air, you receive a solid product. Let's just have a simple balancing. I'll teach you about three techniques of balancing equations, but for the case of this video, since we are aiming at learning how to write, let's just have some mental work. We call it trial and error method. Now, magnesium is one, magnesium is one, but we can see oxygen is uh, two, oxygen is one, so we can put here a two. We don't put a two in the front here during balances, so by putting a two here, it balances oxygen, but makes magnesium a two, so we are forced to bring a two that way, and there the equation is balanced. Let's put the next example here. 
Now, I told you that how do you come up with the chemical equation? Just have some simple formulas that if I react this with that, the general equation gives the other thing. So we have a metal oxide plus an acid. Normally the acids are dilute in this case. So metal oxide plus, let's take an example of dilute hydrochloric acid. So plus acid, this is an example of a base plus an acid we must receive a salt and water. We shall have other videos explaining what a salt is, but for the case of today, let's have an example. Maybe we can have our zinc oxide here. I'm taking an example of zinc oxide. Zinc has a valence of two, oxide also valence of two. So we end up canceling here and ending up with the formula remaining the same. So zinc oxide is a, is a, a, a solid powder. We are adding an acid, say hydrochloric acid. It's dilute, so it means it has some water, so we put aqueous. Then we receive a salt. The salt from hydrochloric acid will be called a chloride. So we can have zinc chloride here. So zinc chloride, zinc has a valence of two, chloride has a valence of one, so we end up exchanging here. Then we arrive at that. So that's how much you can. It's a solution. Now, how do you know it's a solution? We just have to recall our simple chemistry of solubility of salts. Zinc chloride is a soluble salt. That's why we are putting aqueous because it will form a colorless solution. So plus water as the other product. Yeah. Now, when we arrive there, let's try to balance it now. Zinc is one. Zinc is one here. So zinc is balancing. When you look at our oxygen here, oxygen is one. Oxygen is one, balancing correct. But if we look at hydrogen is one, hydrogen is two, we can put here two. So by putting a two, it affects chlorine. So makes chlorine two, chlorine two, the equation is balancing. Let's look at the, the other reaction now. We now have metal hydroxide plus an acid. A metal hydroxide is also an example of a base, so it will be similar to this. Metal hydroxide plus an acid, we must receive a salt and water only. So switching up this way. So we can take an example of sodium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide, of course the balance of hydroxide is one, the balance of sodium is also one, so we receive the formula remaining like that. So we can use an acid such as sulfuric acid and the acid must be dilute. So sulfuric acid is the formula because the sulfate has a balance of two, hydrogen has a balance of one. So it's a, a dilute acid, so it's aqueous. Then we shall receive a salt source from sulfuric acid that are called sulfates. So we shall have sodium sulfate here. Sodium balance is one, sulfate. Here. It's a solution, a soluble salt, that's why we put aqueous at the balance of two. So we extend, put in here like this, and rub that. Plus water, since this is also a base, plus an acid, we receive a salt, plus water. So we have here water, okay, it's a liquid there. Now we can balance it, you can see, sodium is one, sodium is two, so we put here two. We are using mental work. So by putting here two sodium balances, let's take another element, can see oxygen is two plus four, that is six. Oxygen is four, but we need this is, we need just a two here, make it two plus four, make them six, and the equation is balancing right away. Let's go to the next reaction four, but before we go to the next reaction, I request you to watch this video to the end until we finish this. Then we have a metal carbonate plus an acid. Let's have a simple formula here. This is how you arrive at learning how to come up with an equation. Simply have a small simple formula. Metal carbonate plus a dilute acid. We receive three things. Salt plus water. Then plus the gas for carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide gas. Now let's just have an example. Maybe you are taking an example of copper to carbonate. Copper to carbonate. Copper has a balance of two. Carbonate also has a balance of two, so it cancels down to that. Carbonates are, are insoluble salts, so we put, a, it's a powder, it's a green powder. Plus, say, let's take an example of dilute nitric acid. 
the solution. Then let's come up with the product. There we expected the salt. Salt from nitric acid are called nitrate, so we shall have copper to nitrate there. So copper to nitrate, copper has a balance of two. Nitrate has a balance of one, so we exchange here. We shall arrive at this, put this in the bracket with the two there. It says soluble salt, so we put up yes. Then plus water. Water is H2O plus carbon dioxide gas. Thank you. you are now, you see how I came up with this side? I had to master this, this, and that. So it made me write like that. Let's write balance. Copper is one. Copper is one. That's balancing. Hydrogen is one, but I can't say hydrogen is two here. We first balance that. Hydrogen is balancing. Nitrogen is two. Nitrogen is also two. It balances. Oxygen is two times three multiplied. But this is six plus three is nine. So this is six plus one. That is seven plus two. That is nine. So the equation is balancing right away. Let's look at the, the other reaction. The reaction between hydrogen gas and the metal oxide. Hydrogen gas is a reducing gas, so we can have, if you have a metal oxide, not all metal oxides are reduced by hydrogen, but we say metal oxides of heavy metals, such as copper, to oxide. So we receive, it reduces the metal oxide to receive a metal. I'll make another video about oxidation and reduction. It is soon coming soon. Remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can receive such similar video. Now we receive a metal plus water here. Hydrogen is oxidized to water, then the metal oxide is reduced to a metal. So you can take an example, probably you can say lead to oxide. Lead has a balance of two in this case, oxide balance of two, so it cancels down to that. Two, two cancels, then plus our hydrogen, we use Gases in the reaction, such as hydrogen, we use them as atomic gases, so we make it H2. So it reduces lead to, to get heavy metal, reduces this oxide, then it is oxidized water right away there. So I think you are learning how we come up with the equation. Have a simple formula, then products. So this equation balances right away, you will check it in your free time. You can pause the video, then check, it will come back to this. Let's look at the last reaction, students, or the audience watching me. So we can have a reaction between water and the metal. Now, this reaction is very, very broad. Metals in the reactivity series react differently with water, but allow me to only talk about one metal such as sodium. Because from, from potassium to around, soda to around calcium, the reactions are different. Then from magnesium down to iron, the reactions are also different. So let's just have one example there. You can go and read more about reactions of metals with water. So I can take an example. Say maybe I'm taking sodium metal. Sodium is in A plus water. Most students are always asking, how do I come up with the products for water? What has various products? So you just have to learn, if I react this metal with the other, what's the product? Some yield metal hydroxides and hydrogen gas, while some yield metal oxides and hydrogen gas. Some metals don't react completely. So sodium and its, its friends such as potassium and calcium will yield hydroxides and hydrogen. So we are going to have here right away sodium hydroxide. Sodium is Na, hydroxide is OH. But the solution, if this is soluble alkali, it's an alkali, so it's soluble. Then plus hydrogen gas as our the other product. So let's write balance. This sodium is one, sodium is one, right? The sodium balance is hydrogen is two, hydrogen there is this and this. But this is an equal number one plus three is three. Makes it a bit tricky to balance. But we can add just this so that the truth is an even number and it balances much easier. So by putting here 2, this becomes 2 plus 2 makes it 4. And also, so hydrogen is 4, you can just bring here 2. Then also sodium is 2, have it that way. Now I hope you've liked this video. Uh, I've taken you through how you write chemical equations. 
are making similar videos such as writing ionic equations, oxidation and reduction reactions. I request you to subscribe this channel so that you receive such similar videos. Thank you. See you in the next video. Come on.